What if we got the Loki we deserved? Hey everybody, it's your main man Z here from OrQ. And you, if you are familiar with this channel, you've heard me rant about the Loki Disney Plus series multiple times. Well, I'm here to talk about what if episode three, the world lost its mightiest heroes. And I want to emphasize a point that I've been making about Loki for a while. So this will contain minor spoilers for the episode. If you want to watch it, I'm not going to give away the ending. I'm not, or at least I'm not going to give away who the killer is or what's going on here. Um, essentially, it's a whodunit mystery as to what happened, what would happen if, if, if the Avengers never really got assembled. And it's a bit of a murder mystery. It stars Nick Fury. And um, this is a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it. There's a little bit of, of like campiness to it, but... I think it still came across as the far superior of all the episodes. It was a little dark. It was a little uh, interesting. Uh, the voice acting was really great. And I'm not going to give away one of the voice actors because that will, that could spoil it for you. But it is Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye, Tom Hiddleston as Loki, Clark Gregg as Agent Coulson, Frank Grillo's even in it as Crossbones, Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner, Jamie Alexander as Lady Sif. Um, they actually had, interestingly enough, uh, the the uh, Black Widow car You know, Black Widow is played by Lake Bell, who, who you may know from the Harley Quinn series. She plays Poison Ivy there. So, my point to this is not so much to go over the episode itself and not to give you like what happened and why it was a great episode. What I really want to talk is about is the depiction of Loki in this. And this will be minor spoilers for the Loki. Uh, what happens with Loki. And I'll try not to give too much away. But I guess my whole point is we saw Loki from Disney Plus who was ineffectual. He was humiliated. He was demeaned. He had no powers. He was getting beaten by everybody left and right. He was like just got thumped on the whole time. It was not our Loki. This Loki is way closer to the one that we're used to. Loki comes in and he's immediately threatening and he's intimidating Nick Fury. He's got powers. He's commanding an army. There's a whole side of him. This this is the Loki that we're used to where he comes in and he's, he's a killer. He's ready to take retribution. He's going to take care of things and make sure that nobody is... <laughs> leave no witnesses, right? He does negotiate, but... By the end, you it it's real. You, you get to see he, he shows off a bunch of powers. You get to see a whole bunch of really great stuff. He does some great illusion work here, and just things that prove just how powerful he was. And I really, really thought I was like, oh my gosh, this is the Loki that I wish we had gotten in the Loki series because the Disney Plus series is just so. Uh, the depiction of Loki. It's not so much the series that's bad, as much as the depiction of Loki and it's you know here's voiced by Tom Hiddleston again so you're you, you get to compare and contrast now and you're seeing exactly how he should be depicted how he's fierce and you know can use his leadership abilities isn't just ineffectual so I really did enjoy this and I wanted to point out like I just don't understand like the hypocrisy of the of it's not even hypocrisy it's just like who, they don't even know what they're doing anymore. It's just, it's really kind of embarrassing where you can have one full series where, and I know it's a what if, and I know they're, they're alternate universes and everything, but like, th this is the Loki we should have had. What happened? Why not give Tom Hiddleston this mean and angry and cunning uh, character and all of the character traits that we've been used to, right? It's just very strange. So here you get him coming for retribution and you it, it's just amazing to me. So really enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. The first two episodes of What If, oh man, I, I could leave them or take them. They, the first one with uh, Peggy Carter as Captain America, meh. It was just like Captain America, but swapped. And then I kind of liked the T'Challa one, but I really it was really bad writing. 
like just awful writing. I liked the acting in it, or at least like Chadwick Boseman, but everybody else was like, bleh. And this one, I thought the acting was really great. Even like Belle, I thought she did a really great job as Scarlett Johansson. So um, more power to all these people. I thought it was really great. It was really cool to see different aspects and have, uh, you know, General Ross is in it, Betty Ross. Like, this is really, really cool. I definitely recommend it. And uh, check it out because this is the Loki that we wanted from the show and, and not the other one that we got. So, again, just proves my point. Like, there's a the, the, people recognize that this Loki still exists, but that's not what we got in the Loki series. So... Thanks for listening. Uh, Again, if you want to catch our full-length audio podcast, we live stream it right here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join the chat. Hang out with us. It's always a good time. For more movie news, rants, reviews, all that good jazz, catch us here as we release more. Hopefully today we earned a subscription from you. It's the only way we can grow the channel. And uh, I'm already on to the next one.